Hey guys, Ed with CMC Reptiles. Kind of want to show you my day-to-day -day routine when you have a bunch of different species of animal, ball pythons, tortoises. Basically, it's a zoo. It's a home-based zoo because I do birthday parties, educational shows. And one of the things I have to do when I do have uh, these ball pythons, I probably got 50, 60 ball pythons breeding ball pythons. The fact that I use the liners, once in a while these big females blow their tub out. So if they do that, I put them in a nice tub of water, let them sit for 15, 20 minutes, rinse them off a little bit. And so like today I have three ball pythons that blew out their tubs, which isn't so bad. It doesn't take long. But the nice thing is, is when they go back into their tubs, it's a completely clean, bacteria-free environment. It's nice and clean. And they're loving it. Plus, they get outside, they give a nice soak, a little bit of sun. The other thing is, is I work, with, of course, with a few tortoises. Cheeto and Dorito. It's probably 11 a.m., so right now they're just basking in the same spot they always bask in. And I also have a red foot. There he is out there, actually. Sprinklers just went on maybe about 15 minutes ago, but the red foot is a forest tortoise, so it likes definitely more water. It loves the sprinklers. It walks into it, starts grazing a little bit on the grass, and then I have some forest tortoise food that I feed this guy. So this is kind of how I start my morning is with the tortoises and then spot cleaning snakes. Next is the blood python. I get him out here, soak a little bit, give him a couple hours of uh, soaking time, some basking time. I got him in some partial shade. This way, if the sun gets too intense, uh, he can get out of it. It's not like direct sunlight because it is going to be about 85 degrees today. And being in that direct sunlight is just too much for him. So the nice thing is I could leave him out here for a couple hours and I could go finish up some other stuff. Letting the motley boa get some sun, get her out here. I'm gonna rinse her off, give her a little bath. Next guys is taking care of the chameleon. So I spray this guy down, feed him, and then he's good for the day. Next guy is the leopard geckos. So I feed those. I have three leopard geckos. I take care of those after the chameleon. Next guys is the toads.
and this is great nourishment guys it's great kind of socializing with these animals outside especially if you're doing you know school shows educational shows birthday parties the animals that you bring to these events it's really important that you do socialize with these animals handle them yeah you know, if you have time to bring them outside just to get used to that so they're not so stressed when you do bring them to these events and that they're being handled by lots of people yeah guys after being outside for a couple hours i give her a nice little meal fresh water chicken hearts and tilapia loves this stuff. All right, guys, so I finished off today with uh, feeding a couple of boas, the motley and the male and female dermerals and the blood python. So I get these guys fed. My day will end. Uh, about six hours of this and uh, I'm all done. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.